My name is Kay Walkingstick. I'm a Cherokee, Anglo woman. I think of myself as biracial. This particular vessel, it's a, called an ola. The Spanish would say olla. It's a water carrier. You can imagine the water cooling in it, as a matter of fact. Typical Acoma coloration of black and white, which I've always thought was stunning. When you look at this shape, this Ola shape, it's a very curvilinear shape, and this was not made on a wheel. Native people simply didn't use a wheel for their pottery, although it, it has the perfection of something that hasn't been made on a wheel. And everything that is on the pot relates to the shape of the pot. And I think that's part of the exquisiteness of the design, is that everything relates to the, to the curves of the pot itself, so that nothing seems static. Everything seems like it's moving with the rhythm of the curve of the pot. So it is the pot itself that actually decides its, its decorative shapes. If this were a different shaped pot, the forms that she chose to design I think would be quite different. Another thing that intrigues me about this is that I know the artist made no preliminary designs on this pot. She, and I assume it's a she, simply painted it. Painted it with the history of knowing how to paint. This is a person who was highly crafted. You can't do this otherwise. And yet it has this perfection combined with a freedom of painterly gesture that I, I find absolutely remarkable. Right in the center of the shoulder, I would call it, of the pot, you can see a four direction symbol. This is a Pan-Indian symbol. Many, many Native people honor the four directions. Cherokees pray to the four directions. And from that uh, four directions cross, which becomes a kind of flower, and then becomes a sail, and then becomes a bigger flower, so that the artist has taken this shape and built on it abstractly so that the entire pot seems to be a swirl of black on white based on this very simple, sacred image of a cross. You could say, well, do these, do these shapes mean something to the artist? Other than that four direction symbol, I doubt it. I suspect they are simply the um, traverses of a brush on a form. I chose this piece because it's beautiful and it's perfect. It has a perfection about it. Few things are perfect, but this for me is perfection.